Um, well, the info, well, the info focus series of displays is really, um, I, so I take them called Strand, where we focus on the work of a single artist. And on this occasion, we're bringing Tracy Edmonds' My Bed from 1998, which is really one of the most sort of noble, one of the most talked about works of the last 20 years. It's been shown for the first time in the north of England. When I went to go and see Tracy at his studio, we were really keen on, on the idea of placing my bed, a really a renowned sort of trigger work, in an historical context. So we talk about artists, you know, that maybe have used the bed, or the idea of the bed as a symbol of life and, and the death. Artists like Edward Munch have used the bed as a sort of symbol, sort of, as a sort of as a sort of metaphor, really, for sort of life and death and sexuality. Uh, and a, a, a resurrection. So we thought about Blake as being a really, a really interesting artist. I know she's really excited to be shown alongside Blake because she's because he's been a huge influence on her work. Um, Emin's obviously got quite a big influence in Liverpool. She's a very well liked artist yes. in Liverpool um, because she's been very involved. Um, she has. I mean, she, um, she has been. I mean, she's. I, I think we, we all know about those two works by Tracy Emin in the grounds at the Anglican Cathedral. So, you know, she's somebody who's very, very, um, she has a very sort of high opinion of, 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 and she likes the people and likes the city. So she's really excited to be showing in this context. Uh, there is a sort of connection between the two that draws them as a reason for being in Liverpool as well, or in Liverpool Tate in terms of? Well, I think the two artists work, and I think it works really side by I think they work really well side by side. Blake and Emma, you know, although they were working sort of 200 years apart, um, there's something about Blake and the idea of, of, of spirituality, of human nakedness, all these sort of themes of the life cycle, you know, a very sort of private, sort of personal symbolism. And, no, and Blake, I suppose, like Emin, in his lifetime was regarded as being quite eccentric, you know, some, some regarded him as being this insane, a, a romantic poet. Um, you know, so he was probably a marginal figure in his time, but he was also somebody who was very outspoken, he was very against the slave trade, he was very, you know, for absolute freedom of expression, he spoke up for all women's rights, he was sort of a feminist of sorts before his time. So I think to place somebody like that, a radical artist from the Romantic era, uh, in the context of, of Tracy Emin, you know, and this idea of, of an, an artist being able to sort of freely express themselves, you know, to create sort of a very powerful self-portrait through Mike Bear. You think about Mike Bear as being a kind of a Emin ultimate self-portrait, sort of forensic self, you know, like a crime scene in which you're able to, to you know, to imagine the artist's life at a single point in time. Um, so I think there's something about spirituality and, and sexuality and the life cycle that you can trace through my bed and to Blake also. Just with what you said there, just quick on that, um, that that's a sort of very intimate self-portrait yeah. of Emin. There were other works where she's done that as well, like the tent as well. Yeah. Um, Everybody I've slept with, I think. So I can't remember the, full, the proper title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, why do you think the bed has stayed this resident, or more more resident than maybe some of the other self-portrait works or the autobiographical? Well, I think it's true that Emin's work does draw on uh, her own, you know, her own life, her own, her, her own experience. Um, you know, it draws on sort of trauma, which is sort of quite well known, I think, in 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 the, in the public realm. So, so she does use autobiographical um, a, a, a theme from her life to make her to make her work. I think my bed, I think, has a has a continued sort of power and potency because it's it's a symbol that exists in literature in art history. We see the bed as being used you now like a sort of stage for life and death. Edward Munch. Eugene Delacroix, you know, people like Robert Rauschenberg using bed sheets to make works in the 1960s. So I think there's a way in which the bed has a kind of, my bed, I mean, has a real charge and a link to art history, and that's why I was showing her in this context. Great. So you've got the, the, sort of the big, powerful statement, Tracy Emin piece. Um, is there one big, powerful William Bate, Blake Police piece? Yeah. <laughs> that, um, yeah, okay. That sort of reflects that, or...? There are a few works which have a really sort of strong relationship to Tracy Emma's mind and dad. In the sense, in, you know, in my bed, it's a, it's a self-portrait, but the body is, is, is not present. Um, and what you can see in Blake's work, a lot of it's very figurative. There's a work by Blake entitled uh, The Soul, I Love to Be Parting with Life. So it's really a scene of a spirit sort of leaving, a sort of soul leaving the body. Um, and it's very sort of, it's a very kind of gentle, very sort of, a very beautiful, very faint drawing. But I think this idea of um, the transient, you know, the sort of changing states from life to death, and this idea of, you know, sexuality, 
you know, and changing states, I think is really has a sort of powerful link. So I think that kind of figurative component, I think, is a really powerful work. Also works about the House of Death, where, you know, it's using the, 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 the bed to present a sort of scene of trauma. So I think there's a way, you know, there are really sort of powerful links, I think, between Blake's work and Tracy Emmett. What else is happening at Tate for this season? Um, I, think the, I think the thing that's also really important to say is that Tracy and, and the Blake show, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a free display. So, whatever your opinion of Tracy Emin, I think you know, her work will always trigger a response. And this is a great opportunity to see one of her most famous works in the flesh at Tate Liverpool in the context of Blake. Um, from, uh, the 20th, uh, from, from the 21st of October, we're going to be showing, uh, we're going to be opening three new shows by the French. Uh, artist Yves Klein, the Polish conceptual artist Edward Krasinski, and on the ground floor we're going to have a show by the Belgian American artist Cecile B. Evans. Um, I think the Yves Klein show as well is really it's for people that grew up in Liverpool, as well, myself included. Yeah. I think Yves Klein is a really exciting show because yeah. for people that grew up, came to Tate yeah. as children and um, my sort of age now, yeah. it's that work that you remember, that big blue. blue. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, okay. I, it's, in, it's, it's, a, it's an international plan blue yes. monochrome, and we're going to be pre presenting yeah. you know, a, 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 a significant number of clients, famous international plan blue monochromes here in yeah. Liverpool, low from museums all over all over Europe. Yeah, so it's an exciting opportunity to see it again. Yeah, another <laughs> great work season with artists. Yeah, okay. and if you had to give one reason for someone to get out of bed, get on a bus car, bike, whatever, and come to take Liverpool to see this Emin Blake yeah. show, what, was that, what would that reason be? Well, I think um, the two of the great, in a way, the two um, sort of, uh, I think I really urge everybody to come and see this show. I mean, Tracy Emin, you know, is really one of the most talked about, one of the most sort of celebrated artists of, of the last 20 years, and this is a chance, a rare chance to see one of her most famous works here installed at Tate the table with Liverpool in the context of Blake, who's really one of the most sort of important cultural figures, a romantic poet, a, a visionary philosopher, you know, and I think, you know, we're going to bring together a significant number of works by the artists from the Tate collection brought together for the first time here in Liverpool and it's free. So